Hi there, so my name is LEGO101 and judging by the list of games that you played, that is, if it is a thing, you are FNAF Pro. So boy oh boy do I have a treat for you. So what you're in right now is both my new game and a new place, LEGO101's Pizzeria Playhouse, that's right. I own the place, and I made the animatronics myself. Don't know where they are? Well, check the cams. Upon doing this, you will see the robots in one of the cams. And also, I am the main lead. You know, the red bear with brown eyes? That's my robot counterpart. And around this place is my imaginary friend. And yes, although I am old, I still have imaginary friends no matter what, so... Regardless, one of them here is named Hama, H-A-M-A, -A, or Hammy, H-A-M-I. I know it's a dumb name, but Hammy's robot counterpart is the Orange Bunny. He's on the same cam as my robot counterpart, Cam 1. So, enough of the chit chat. I'll tell you what to do. Mainly, the robots have a night mode and they move around in order for their servos to not be deactivated. But as many FNAF game players know, you included, they go on a murder hunt. And I think I could troll them or maybe someone else does. Who knows? So regardless, in our office, you will see three buttons. And I think you are wondering how they work. I will tell you. The button on your left is the door button. You can shut it at whoever's there. The button at the center side of your office is the shock button. It will shock whoever is there and it will restart the AI automatically. As for the button on your right, it's a steam button. And it will cause a robot circuit to fry up a bit and go away, but that circuit will fix itself manually or, or automatically while the robot that's there runs back to its spot. And also, uh, the paths of the robots are randomized. They can move at whatever path in place they please or desire most. Anyway, enough of that. I will tell you who's active. The robot counterpart of me moves tonight. And to be honest, he will speak to you when he moves and he might be a bit meta on whatever FNAF really thing he says. Anyway, if you see him through the center of the office, since that is how he will get you, click the shock button. And that's it really, so make sure you check the cameras for any movement and click the shock button if you see someone there. And uh, by there, I mean at the center of your office. Or mainly, just be careful. And while you're at it, try out the other defense mechanisms in your office besides the shock button in your downtime. So for that player, you're gonna need it. Foxy is the good guy. Do you think 
Good job on B91, though your job ain't over yet, my friend. Oh, no, no, not at all. Because you still have five more nights after this one to get through. And then, once you read all those things successfully without dying, you'll be back to reality. And I know you'll say that most of the mechanics in the office were mechanics you before, before you say that some of them are a bit repetitive and boring, I'll say that maybe running up ideas or something for mechanics. But you're just gonna have to deal with the mechanics you have, so yeah. Anyway, tonight, Hama, H A M A, is moving and he will get to you through the right side of your office, so. If you tried out the other mechanisms pre one on arrival, the size of the shock button, then take a guess on which mechanic will detect them. That's right, player, the steam button. So, if you were to pop up at the right door, click the steam button to make him leave. And speaking of AI, the AI levels will increase each night, so make sure to be careful on the later nights since you don't want to die, now do you? I thought, since apparently you are a fanatic pro. Anyways, do what you did with 101 last night, shock him, and click the steam button if Hamlet shows up on the right side, and that's all for tonight, so good luck again, player. Having fun with fun time writing. 